Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy. Um, what we got here is I bought one of those 99 cent eBay motors for my clone 450 and uh, it's skipping. Um, so I picked up another uh, Alpha 400. I kind of like these. They're cheap, they don't last, but they're better than that 99 cent one. Um, what I like to do first is get the battery tray out of here. Okay, here's the motor. Um, it's working, but it kind of does a skip when it's flying. Uh, so the second thing I want to do is take off the uh, disconnect the ESC um, to make it easy. I like to drop the whole motor mount. So now the mount's down. It's really hard to get it out. You know, it's a little fishing just through the bottom hole there. But it will come out. Alright, now you got the complete motor mount out, your pinion. Like I said, the motor was still working, it was just skipping. Um, so we'll put it on a shelf as a backup. But now that the mount's out, we can uh, remove the two. Okay, one mount, one motor. That aside for now. Okay. Now, first thing I like to do, put it in there and line it up. Make sure which holes you're going to use. Because some of these motors, the holes aren't the same. They're separated a little differently. I think the two I need are right there because if you spin it to the other holes the center to center is a little different actually that, those look better but if you play around with it you can see that the bolt holes are uh, there's four sets of holes on this motor and two bigger screws two small screws but the smaller ones seem to work for me um, but first things first, but of course, then again, if you look at it, the motors, I gotta put it that way for the positioning. Uh, what you should do is put a little Loctite inside the uh, holes here. Get some Loctite and just put them inside the holes. Okay, we got Loctite inside the two holes. Alright, now. Get the two, the two screws are different. The other motor had bigger screws on it. This one has smaller screws, so let me uh, just set it up what I need. Wrong size. And here. There we go. And I put big washers on mine. This is only a plastic mount. And 
Okay, we got Loctite in there. Should be all ready to go. Okay, I'm just going to snug them up for now until I get it back in the bird. You can push them all the way forward. Alright. So now we're going to push it back in here. See if I can get a little closer here. I'll be with my big hands fishing her through. Uh, go with the dog ears first, the big part which is the back. Kind of hook them in. dog ears in. Just the backs first. If you try if you try to get front and rear in at the same time it don't work. Alright. Now we try to get the front up. Okay, so now the front of the mode is in there. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, let me move the camera just a little bit in there. You can see the motor, but do the two longer dog ears first, and then the little one in the front. All right, now get your wires up in before you start mounting the motor. <coughs> Push all the wires up through. Got this fancy hook tool here. Fancy smancy, bring the wires up in the boat. Alright. Bring the camera back a little bit. Alright, now that we got the motor back in, like I said, it's snug. You can line up the two front screws. Line up the two front screws first. Oops. Holiday, holiday, holiday.